Well, hello and welcome to another exercise on, on Venn diagrams. Uh, this time around, we're taking in the proper subsets and subsets. It is a past IGCSE uh, question. And there, there are two parts, part A and part B. Part A has got five sections and part B has got only two sections. So we start with part A, and that says we've got 25, 25 students in a class, and F stands for French students, and S stands for Spanish students, and the number of French students in total is 16. So the number of students who study French is 16, and the number who study Spanish is 18. Now, two students do not study either of these subjects. So now we're supposed to find to complete the Venn diagram to show this information. Uh, this is a Venn diagram. Okay. Now, clearly, my starting point has got to be uh, this one here because we know that two students do not study either of these subjects. So, in there, we're going to have two. Right. Now, for F intersection S, we don't know. So, we're putting X there. Now, over here, we want to find the number of students who study just uh, Spanish only. So, we do 18 minus X. And over here, we want to find the number of students who study uh, just French. So, that's going to be 16 minus X. Now, together, all of these, if you add up to 25, so we've got 2 plus 16 minus x plus x plus 18 minus x equals 25. This, this x is cancelled out. So we're going to have that 36 minus x is equal to 25, in which case x is equal to 36 minus 25, and the answer is 11. So we've got 11 there. Now, if x is 11, the number of students who study just French will be 16 minus 11, and that's going to be 5 there. And similarly, the number of students who study just Spanish is going to be 18 minus 11, and that will give us 7 there. Now, section 2 says, find the number of students who do not study French. So, F prime. So that's going to be this seven here, who studies just Spanish, and these two who study neither French nor or Spanish. So we get answer nine there. And for section three, it says the number of students who are not in this section, F intersection S. So we know that F intersection intersection S. Is 11 okay so the number of students so n f intersection s prime is going to be 25 minus 11 and that's 14 or you can get it by saying f 7 plus 5 is 12 and 12 plus 2 give you 14 either way it's right okay uh, section 4 he said, once the student is chosen at random, uh, find the probability that this student studies both French and Spanish. Now, both French and Spanish would be F intersection S, and that's 11 there. So, probability would be 11 over 25. That's what they got there. And for part 5, he said, two students are chosen at random without replacement, similar to what I've done before. And, right, uh, we want to find the probability that they both study only Spanish. So, we are in this region here. Now, our first pick would be 7 over 25. Now, having picked out the first students, we now have only six who just study just Spanish. And only 24 students left in the class now. So for the second pick, probably to be 6 over 24. For the first and second pick, it could be 7 over 25 times 6 over 24. 
and the answer should be 42 over 600 and if you cancel that you get 7 over, 7 over 100 it doesn't matter if you leave your answer as 42 over 600 that is acceptable okay right now for the next slide okay now this is um, part B of the question and uh, as I said earlier part B has got uh, two sorry got, got two sections and it says in another class the students all study at least one language from French German and Spanish uh, no student studies all three languages okay uh, the set of students who study German is a proper subset of the set of students who study French. Uh, four students study both French and German. And a total of six students study French. Okay. Now, this is my G set or my German set. And in my German set, I've got student A, student B, student C, and student D. That's my German set. And this is my French set. Now, in my French set, I've also got the four students who study German. So that is a proper subset of F, of set F. Twelve students study Spanish but not French. Nine students study French but not Spanish. And draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. Now I'm going to start with drawing my F set or the French set, which is this one here. That's my French set. Okay, and I label that F. All right. Now, within this French set, I'm going to have my German set. Of G. And in this German set here, I've got four students. So I'm going to have four there. Okay. Now, in here, we're told that nine students study French but not German. So I'm going to have five in here to give me the nine I require. So I'm going to have five in there. Nine minus four give me five. So that should be five there. Now next, I'm going to draw my S set or my Spanish set. Now we know that 12 students study Spanish only. 12 students study Spanish only. So I'm going to have 12 in there. We also know that 16 students study French. So that, that will include the 5 and this 4 here. And to make 16, that's good to, that's good to be 7 in there. To make 16, 9 plus 7 will give me 16. So 7 students study both Spanish and French. Okay, now section B, and it says, Find the total number of students in this class. Now, obviously, that's going to be uh, a 12 plus a 7 plus a 5 plus a 4, and that give us 28 students. Now, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.